club, bitches. Now, I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but donkey of the day is a new one. Donkey of the day for Friday, June 5th, goes to Fox News host Laura Ingram. Today's word of the day is contradiction. What is the contradiction? Uh, a combination of statements, ideas, or features of a situation that are opposed to one another. Not to be confused with changing your mind. There's absolutely nothing wrong with changing your mind, but you have to acknowledge that change of mind, especially when you were so strong in a position like Laura Ingram was, okay? Do we all recall when Carrie Champion, drop on the clues bombs for Carrie Champion, do we all recall when Carrie had the web series rolling with the champion on Interrupted? On one of those episodes, she had Kevin Durant and LeBron James, and they were riding around LeBron's hometown of Akron, Ohio, and Carrie asked LeBron about a tweet where he referred to Donald Trump, the celebrity in chief, as a bum. Remember this? We cannot deny that we are um, very divided, especially in the political arena. Yeah, for sure. LeBron, you called the president a bum. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. How do you describe the climate for an athlete with a platform nowadays that want to talk about what's happening in our world? Well, the climate is hot. The number one job in America, the point of person, is someone who doesn't understand the people and really don't give a fuck about the people. Now, LeBron is a taxpaying American citizen. He has the right to criticize the president because the president works for him. Period. Poo. But Laura Ingram didn't think so. Laura Ingram disagreed. OK, this is what she had to say about LeBron's comments on Donald Trump. Let's hear it. It's always unwise to seek political advice from someone who gets paid a hundred million dollars a year to bounce a ball. Oh, and LeBron and Kevin, you're great players, but no one voted for you. Millions elected Trump to be their coach. So keep the political commentary to yourself or as someone once said, shut up and dribble. Shut up and dribble. She was strong about that, right? Well, let's turn to Drew Brees. Uh, Drew Brees made some comments this week that rub people the wrong way because he is blinded by his privilege. So he doesn't see the other side of America that you see when you're black. And he's one of those folks who still thinks, you know, people are taking a knee simply because we are being unpatriotic. Let's hear what he had to say. I will never agree with anybody disrespecting the flag of the United States of America. Let me let me just tell you what I feel when the national anthem is played and when I look at the, the flag of the United States. I envision my two grandfathers who fought for this country during World War II. And is everything right with our country right now? No, we still have a long way to go. But I think what you do by standing there and showing respect to the flag with your hand over your heart is it shows unity. It shows that we are all in this together. We can all do better and that we are all part of the solution. Now, if you want to hear my thoughts on that, go to Breakfast Club's YouTube page, Breakfast Club Power 105.1, and listen to yesterday's donkey of the day. But just for the record, the reason so many black people have a problem with patriotism is because how can we salute a country that denies us justice and has been brutalizing us for hundreds of years? OK, black people fought in those same world wars and fought for this country when this country was denying us civil rights. Period. Poo. Now, based off Laura Ingram's comments, you would think that she would want Drew Brees to shut up and throw. You would think Laura Ingram would want Drew Brees to shut up and stand behind a man while he's bent over and Drew has his hand between his legs. OK, but no, Laura singing a new tune when it comes to Drew Brees. Let's listen. Well, he's allowed to have his view about what kneeling and the flag means to him. I mean, he's a person. He has some worth, I would imagine. I mean, this is beyond football, though. This is totalitarian, totalitarian conduct. This mm -hmm. is Stalinist. And by the way, on the streets of New Orleans, we're looking at live pictures. They're yep. shouting F Drew Brees. Wow. That's what, that's that's what this moment has done to the beautiful team this spirit is, of the New Orleans This Saints. is a contradiction. A combination of statements, ideas, are features of a situation that are opposed to one another. Okay, Laura, this is so ridiculously racist, so blatantly bigoted, so predictably prejudiced. Okay, this is why it's a waste of time to have conversations with people like Laura Ingram. People like Laura Ingram are committed to misunderstanding you for ratings. Okay, and by you, I mean us, black people. When it comes to LeBron, it's shut up and dribble. When it comes to Drew Brees, it's he has the right to his opinion when it comes to politics. Well, of course, Laura Ingram decided to go on TV and explain to the world why she eats mayonnaise out of a jar with a spoon. Listen to this colonizer explain her contradiction. Now, my defense of Brees led to an online course of people comparing those comments 
to previous comments I had made uh, to LeBron James. Without dwelling on the nuance between the two instances, let me be very clear about what I believe. We are all children of God, regardless of our racial or political differences, and therefore must be treated equally. Every American it has a God-given right to speak his or her own mind on any issue. And I think in order to heal and shed light on gross injustices, our country needs more dialogue, not less. And we need more respect, not retribution. Now, we're all human beings, and we're on this earth for a very short period of time when you think about it. And this is a moment when we should be listening and learning. We are all children of God. Yes, and some of us are children of Yakub. Okay, this is proof that when you are possessed by evil spirits, it is crafty manipulations that you follow. But when you are possessed by the real Holy Spirit of God, it is wise discretions you pursue. Laura could have felt the way she feels now about LeBron because clearly she understands people should have their own opinion and they have the right to their opinion. But she chose not to because he's black. She chose not to because he criticized her president. Okay, the reason she sides with Drew Brees is because she feels the same way he does. Never mind the black men and women getting killed every day at the hands of the police. Respect that flag. Can't even be upset. Okay, I can't even be upset at Laura. Do what you will, Laura, because America's creed, as we know it, that whole freedom, justice, equality thing, when it comes to black people, all fiction. And to be a black person in America is a contradiction because all those values you stand on and, and hold up for everybody else. When it comes to you and yours, doesn't apply to me and mine. Please let Chelsea Handler give Laura Ingram of Fox News the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw. That is way too much Dan Mayonnaise. Donkey Today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.